Now that you've watched the video of chapter two, part one, we're gonna take some close notes in order to prepare for today's lesson. So today we're gonna to be talking about significance measures and what are some significant events in the novel. So the word significance means important. An event is something that happens. That's all. So when you talk about a significant event, you're just talking about something important that happens. Okay, so when there's a significant event in the novel, it's important to be able to explain what makes it significant. Okay, for why is it important, okay? And the way we do that is through the effects that that event causes. Okay, so the best thinking map to explain an event is significant is a cause and effect map. We're going to be looking at the effects of events that are significant, right? And it's those effects of an event that actually make it significant. Okay, when we write about significance, we have to quote the event from the novel. So we're going to need to pull some quotes that are significant and then show the effects of that quote, okay, or of that significant event. All right, <clears throat> the first thing we want to do to get started is use a circle map to brainstorm all the significant events that we have read so far. Use significant measures to help you think of important events. Remember that significant measures are things like it has to have an effect, so I'm going to put in the middle, significant events. Remember, significant means important, event means something that happens. So I want to just brainstorm significant things that have happened in the novel so far. We've only read um, chapter one and part of chapter two. Okay, so probably the most significant thing that's happened so far is Mr. Torres dies, right? What are some other significant events that have happened? Things that have happened that are important. Okay. Um, in chapter one, um, the first significant thing that happened was um, Mrs. Torres wasn't at work, right? That was significant. Remember, <clears throat> with our significance measures, um, if it changes something, if, if, if something is different because of it, it's significant. Okay. Um, another significant event in the novel is actually um, where they live, right? Um, so they live, the setting is significant because it's where the story takes place and that has a lot of different effects. So the setting is they live in Ensenada. Hopefully I spelled that right. Ensenada. Might be A right there. I'll check the book in a second. Okay, um, think of another significant event that you want to talk about. Think about another significant event and go ahead and add it right now. I want you to add one. So I'm going to put right here so you know one significant event. One more important event that either causes things to happen or changes something Okay, that has happened so far in the novel. Go ahead and put that right there. When you're done, you can go ahead and turn it over. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's look at this little direction at the bottom. It says, circle the two most significant events and then find the page number where they take place in the novel. Okay, this is important because remember I said that when we write down significant events in a novel, we need to quote them. Okay? So I think the two most significant events that we have written down are Mr. Torres dies, and before we find out he died, is that Mrs. Torres isn't at work. Okay? Let's find out what pages in the novel those are. So you should always have your book with you. So I'm going to go ahead and look. I remember that both of those things happen in chapter one. So I'm just looking back at the beginning of chapter one when Lupita sneaks into the hotel. And she's looking for mom, she's looking for mom, and then, um, then, oh, the woman cried softly. Okay, so this is 
where Lupita finds out her mom is not at the hotel. And where does it say that, oh, she has gone home. Senior Aguilar has sent her home, right? That's a really, when Captain Ortega's son came here to the hotel for her, all right? That is um, in the text where the event happens, right? That's the exact quote that we want to use. This is on page 11. So I'm going to come over here and write page 11. And then it carries on to page 12. Page 11 to 12. Okay, that's where we're going to get our quote from. And then when Mr. Torres dies, we find out um, after Lupita goes home and talks to her mom. So let's go ahead and see. Um, right here is where they're telling him that the water took him with it when it passed over the boat. Okay, so her father has passed away, has died right here, and this is on page 16. So I'm going to write down page 16 so I know where to find it. Okay, excellent. Now we are ready to move on to guided, um, to more guided practice. Let's go ahead and turn your page over, and let's read the directions. It says, create a cause-effect map to identify three to five reasons why this quote or event is significant. So remember, we want to look at the effects of the event, okay? Those are the ways that make, those are the things that make it significant. So we're not going to do the cause of the event, but we're actually going to do the effects of the event. So the effects go on the right side. So I'm going to draw a box, and then I'm going to draw at least three. We could probably do more, but I'm going to start off with three, okay? Three effects. Remember the effects. Go ahead and label this. This is the effects. This is the event, right? These are the effects. The effects are the what happened, right? So what happened as a result of this event, okay? And that's going to show us why it's significant. Okay, so our first event, if you look back at your circle map that happens in the novel, is Mrs. Torres wasn't at work. And we said that was on page 11 and 12. So we want to actually quote 11 and 12 when that event takes place. So I'm going to look in my book to copy down. It says, where is my mother? Uh, ah, she has gone home. Senior Aguilera sent her home. So I'm going to start right there and just quote. Ah, she has gone home, period, Senor Aguilera or Aguilar, excuse me, sent her home. And then it goes on to page 12 to continue to say, when Captain Ortega's son came here to the hotel for her. Okay, so we're gonna write that. When Captain Ortega, let me make sure I'm selling this right. Yes, E G A. Son, which we later learn is Paco, right? Came here to the hotel for her. Make sure you put your quotation marks. And then we're going to cite it. It's on page 11 to 12. Okay. So now we want to write down some effects of this event. She has gone home. Senior Aguilera sent her home when Captain Ortega's son came here to, to the hotel for her. I just realized I spelled here wrong. Okay. There we go. All right, so think about some effects. What happens once Lupita realizes or is told that her mom goes home? The first thing that happens is Lupita is worried. Remember, it's significant if it causes an emotion, right? Lupita worries um, about why her mom left. Okay, that's one effect of her mom being sent home. Another effect is that then Lupita runs home, right? She runs home 
to find um, out what happened. Remember, another significance measure is if it causes an action, right? So this is an action. It causes her to run home to find out what happened, okay? Um, on the way home, she actually stops and gets who? Her brother, Salvador, right? So it causes her to get Salvador to come home. Right, he's just hanging out at the liquor store as per usual with his friends. So it causes Salvador, it causes her to get Salvador to come home, and then they both run home, right? And actually, you could also say that Salvador, what does Salvador think is wrong? Salvador worries it has to do with it's about him and Dorothea, right? Their relationship. Okay, so we have a lot of effects, right? We have a lot of effects. There's more effects of this, right? Um, when she she thinks about what could be the problem, okay? Um, we also can come up with, so now we have a significant event in the novel is that seeing a uh, Mrs. Torres isn't at work. She gets sent home by Captain Ortega's son when he comes to the hotel. Okay, this, as a result of this, Lupita worries about why her mom left. Okay, also as a result of this, she runs home to find out what happened. Another um, outcome or effect of her mom being sent home is that Lupita stops to get Salvador and they both run home together from where Salvador is. And then lastly, I wrote down that, um, as a result of her mother going home, um, then Salvador worries that it's about him and Dorothea about their relationship. Okay. And then we can also actually, we want to justify our answers so we can actually over here add some details, right? worries about why her mom left. So let's look at that on page um, 12. It does talk about um, she is worried and she thinks she talks to Josefa about why she left. Um, and let's see. It says right here, she said, had Senior Aguilar become angry about something Mama had done and taken her job away? Okay, so there's one example, right? She is worried that um, Senor Ortega has taken her job away, right? That Senor Aguilar got mad. So we're going to put right here, boss got mad and fired her, right? And that's also on page 12, all right? Another example of her worrying about why her mom left is, she says, um, right here, Lupita felt a sudden stab of fright. Josefa doing her mother's work, the Torres family had to have the money her mother's job brought them. Okay, so they needed, this is another reason why she worries, is because they needed the money, right, from her job. So we're gonna put that as an example, and this is on page 12. So you could say, this this event, the event that when Lupita learns her mother was sent home causes Lupita to worry about why her mom left. For example, she wonders, um, she worries about uh, the fact that they need money. Or you could say, for example, she's scared that her mom got fired. Okay? Let's look at the next one. It says, runs home to find out what happened. So again, we want to go back to our book to have examples. So it says right here, um, Lupita's heart began to hammer. Something had happened. Something was wrong. Forgetting to thank Josefa, Josefa excuse me, Lupita whirled around and fled, racing down the iron stairs to the ground. Okay, so we're going to put that as our example. She fled racing down the stairs racing means going really fast right racing down 